there are several ways to do this, so I'm going to show you the easiest way first. Go into Microsoft Word or Open Office, and then write your text down, write what you want to work with. And then you can size it to the correct size you need. And once you have that done, what you want to do is pick a font. You can also go online and go to the fonts or some other pages tattoo font stuff like that and pick out a font but usually you have Microsoft Word or Open Office on your computer already so this is the easiest place quickest place to find different fonts but no matter what you do whether you get it on here or you can download it from the internet and put it on here or just put it into a paint program. You just want to print this off. And once you have it printed off, you can see if it's the correct size. And if it's not, you can just go back into the Word program and change the size of the lettering and then print it off again. What we're going to do when that's printed off is take it over to our drawing table or our light table we're going to draw this but we're going to take it from being straight and we're going to put it in an arch so the light table is going to help us with this or if you have a piece of sketching paper or see-through paper that you can use for something like this so you want to find a little tool or something that's round that you can use for your arch and here's the piece of paper I'm going to be drawing on so first you want to get your arch and this is a engineers tool that I have for making curved lines but you can get a can or something that's round and use that for your arch so after you draw your arch on your blank piece of paper you want to take the paper that you printed off and put it underneath but because of the light table you can see through and then you're going to trace the lettering on top of the arch and you're going to try to keep it equally spaced and try to keep everything touching the arch that way it doesn't go up and down and what you're going to do is just trace the lettering you want on the arch so after you're done copying that first letter you're going to turn the piece of paper so that the next letter is in the correct position and you're going to copy that letter down and you're just going to keep continuing this until you have all of the lettering done let me show you guys this little tool here it's engineers use this for drawing curved lines um, you can probably find this at an art store or somewhere where they're going to sell supplies for people doing blueprints and engineering work it's flexible, but yet you can trace a straight line or a curved line with it. And if you want to do a curve and mark it from, say, point A to point B, and then you want it to meet up at a certain point in the middle, you can just mark those points and then come in with this and trace those out there's probably a lot of other things you can do with this but that's what I use it for 
So while we're in Microsoft Word, I'll show you another way of doing this. I'm going to show you several different ways so that you can pick up the way that's most comfortable for you and then use that. So I showed you how you can do it by hand. Just printing things off on Microsoft Word. Now I'm going to show you actually how to do the arch while you are in Microsoft Word. So Microsoft Word is easier than Open Office, but I will also show you that way to do it too. Type in your text. Here I have Jaunty Artist Tattoo Club, and I'm going to highlight the text. And then, so once you have your text highlighted, you're going to go to the tabs in the toolbar and go to insert and when you click on that tab you will see your options here and one of those options is word art so you're going to want to click on that and then choose something for my purposes, I don't want anything too fancy. I want it to look like text. So I just chose the lettering that looks like text. And this menu is going to pop up. So I'm going to hit OK on that. And then you can see that you have a box now around the text. And it already has a little bit of a curve. So you can adjust that box to get either more of a curve or less of a curve. You can move this around until you get exactly what you want. And if this still isn't what you want, you can change the shape of the lettering. So if you go back up to your toolbox, and click on change shape you can see it will give you this drop down menu with different shapes that you can pick for your lettering so that you can adjust it even more so another one of your options is to go on the internet to a site like this GR sites and this allows you to create logos. So type in curb text generator in your search engine. And then you can pick from whatever sites you can find that will work for you. So we're going to use this one. This one allows you to create textures. It allows you to create the text here. So we're going to put Jaunty Artist Tattoo Club. And then we're going to scroll down and choose from all the options they have that allow you to change the look of it. So just pick from one that you like, scroll down, and then once you're done with that, you'll reach this step here, step four. And this will allow you to shine a light on your logo. You can emboss it, make it look more 3D. But here's the one we're interested in right here and that's the curve effect and you can curve this up you can curve it down if you go to the other menu you can do three quarters curve you can make it into a circle and you would just click the option you want 
and then move on to the other steps and complete all of these steps to get your logo or the text that you want arched and then you would just save that and then you can use that for your tattoo so this is the final result that I got from using that website I'm going to show you how to use open office just in case you don't have Microsoft Word and you want to click on the drawing program and then from there you need to click on word art and you can choose from these and then what you can do is just change the text to what you want so I'm putting Jaunty Artist Tattoo Club. And then again you can move your box around and change the size of the box to change how your arch is going to look. And with this one you have a little tab or a little button that you can grab a hold of. So if you want to make a complete circle, you can just grab that and move it around. So you can see that OpenOffice works pretty much the same way that Microsoft Office works. Now you can add an option to your toolbar on open office you would go into customize and then options and then you can pick tools that you can use to change your text and it has the same icon that your word art has except for it's a text with a line like a curved line underneath it and that will just give you some options you can choose from that will allow you to change your text so don't forget you can like this video you can also subscribe to my YouTube page you can visit me and other tattoo artists on Facebook at Jaunty Artist Tattoo Club You can also do this in programs like Photoshop and Paint, but I'm just trying to show the easiest way to do this if you don't know how to use those programs.